Good evening, everyone. Another day of cleanup in the town of Waverly following one of the deadliest flooding events in the state. Tonight, we're hearing more stories about what happened Saturday morning when 17 inches of rain drenched the area. They include the heroes who lost their own lives while saving others and personal stories of survival. News Channel 5's Jason Lamb kicks off our coverage tonight with a man who says he thought he wasn't going to make it out. The recovery continues in Waverly tonight as this place slowly returns back to some sense of normal. Trace Creek is now once again back down to a trickle, and yet you still can't help but notice everything that is so out of place. And it's so much devastation. You just can't imagine. Neighbors in Waverly today faced a new warped reality. We've picked up stuff everywhere. Houses are off their foundation. There was a truck in our driveway. So much is not where it's supposed to be. Things just washed up and we had, you can see in the backyard. So, you know, they've been back here looking for bodies. But for all that's now gone. There was a garage right there. You see what remains of it. Some things inexplicably stayed put. That old trailer is old and dirt. It's a 1977 model. Buddy McNabb and I was standing watched the Waverly right water the rise on Saturday, looking out his kitchen window. First thing went was my car sitting right here. With no way to leave, the 90 year old says he had nothing to do but wait, watch and pray when he says he felt a sudden wave of calm. And I felt like probably I was relaxing because I was fixing to die. But all of a sudden the water got to about right there. It stayed there maybe five minutes and then it started going down. Call it nature, call it a miracle. But in a town where it all seems a bit askew today, there's one thing that's kept its shape. I, and I've been prayed over more times today than you can imagine. Um, and prayers are welcome. A faith that through it all, this community will recover. I'm a very, very blessed, wore out old man. That's what I'm about to. Jason Lamb, News Channel 5.